Um, this is just a quick one. I'm bringing you off to date with uh, with how I'm feeling. Um, just because today's ride was incredible, like um, legs, body, mind. Like if there was ever a day when everything was in sync and you just feel amazing, today was the day. Um, I just wanted to share that with you because that's that's kind of like the whole point of what we do on this channel. For me, like, you know, today I was like, I had it in my mind I was only going to do like an hour. And that's what I did. I did an hour um, with two really decent blocks of effort. The first block was, um, was a real simple uh, one minute on 30 seconds off and the one minute on was like kind of 400 watts so it was like 60 watts over um over threshold power so i did that i did uh did a set of three so sorry i did three reps so one minute on 30 seconds off one minute on 30 seconds off one minute on 30 seconds off um you know there was nothing there was no real signs there that i you know that, that i felt good or that i was going well it was just a basic effort it was only 10 minutes into the ride so i just kind of went with it and then i did a little loop and i made sure i kept pressing on uh zone two and then i got to to Pembrey and i got to the flats and uh, i knew i was going to do a 30 minute block of zone three so i got cracking and the first 10 minutes i did 50 rpm at zone three and then uh, directly after that, I did five minutes at 115 RPM at zone three. And then for the final 15 minutes of the 30 minute block, I just did self-selected cadence just to finish it off. Because uh, I knew I was getting back into town and I knew like trying to hold a certain cadence would just be like impossible. So that was when I realized, and then looking back at my numbers, like kind of, and this is the thing, like if you, especially if you use heart rate as well as power data, you can compare the two and you can really see where 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 you're improving like today my average power was obviously qu not quite high but it was like upper zone two um and my normalized power was kind of on the border of zone three um you know my my average heart rate was actually you know 10 beats lower than what it usually is now that's obviously down to um me getting fit there but i think something that i don't really mention a lot but i mention a lot to like the people that i coach and things is is consistency consistency is key i talked about it the other day but i'm telling you now we're three and a half weeks into um 2019 training and you know i've not really talked about how i felt uh today is really kind of the first signs i've had that my body's in sync again um, it might only last for today, or it might last for a few days. We don't know, hence why we make these videos. But, you know, the important thing is, like, for the last three and a half weeks, I've just been doing 12 hour weeks, nothing crazy, uh, when a lot of people are kind of upping it to 20 hour weeks. And, you know, that's fair enough. If they want to do that, and everybody's different, they all have, like, friends who want to go up for rides and they can add hours on, that's brilliant. But for me, 12 hours, I've done a lot of intensity, I've done a lot of quality work, and you know, I feel like that's brought me on differently to how I did it last year, when I did kind of, you know, 16 hour week, 19 hour week, 23 hour week. I feel like it's a different kind of fitness I'm getting right now. Um, and it's really interesting to see. And, you know, yesterday I did a, a Zwift race. I did like a 40 minute Zwift race. Uh, and then I did like 45 minutes afterwards and so on too. And for those of you that follow me on Strava, which I highly encourage you do, um, you know, I literally flatline it. So whenever I do, like, even when I'm on the road, if I say I'm going to do zone two, I am bang there, and it is like my power is not deviating. Um, so, yeah, like yesterday the turbo, I felt crap getting on. Uh, I felt fairly okay during the race, uh, and I came second. The guy who won had already gone like miles ago. And then uh, I just went for a solo attack with one k to go, which is very unlike me. But um, I guess that was kind of like the first sign. My max heart rate was well up there though, 188. So that kind of, I was like, you know, if I'm really getting my fitness back, my heart rate wouldn't be that high. So it was kind of throwing me all these curveballs. And then today I felt really good. So just sharing that with you because it's it's something that kind of, like I said, we don't talk about what I haven't talked about because the last three weeks I've just been feeling kind of neutral. My body's been very... Um, 
you know very secretive it's not been giving away any things like you know oh you're feeling good today or oh, you're feeling a bit under the weather it's not really been giving anything away so it's only now that something's clicked and like I said it might not I might not have the legs tomorrow you know things might not realign for another week or two um, I think it's important like and I've, I've stressed this a lot and if you're new to the channel you probably won't know this but like as a as a full-time athlete and I hate using the word professional athlete because like anybody can be a professional athlete uh, in fact I think a lot of people that work and ride a bike for a living and do very well as bike riders you know they're, they're deserving of, of a professional athlete status so I hate that term um, or professional cyclist status I, I just hate that term so um, as a full-time athlete you find that the more you train and obviously the harder you train the less you feel good so you'll have very few good days and you'll generally have a lot more kind of average days although you will learn to uh, read your body better so you'll know you'll definitely know when you have a good day and you definitely know when you have a bad day but a lot of days turn into kind of average days and when when you don't train as much as kind of I do or you know any other elite uh, athlete or cyclist um, in the world it's like when when you have this kind of time off or even if you're uh like i say even if you're just a, an average joe when you ride a bike just once or twice a week or you haven't ridden for a while and get back on it you actually feel bad um you know to begin with and then say if you just ride a bike once or twice a week you actually feel really good because you're you're riding your bike once or twice a week you're very fresh if you've got a little bit of fitness you generally are feeling good so the more you ride, the more you train, the less good, good days you get. I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that. 